Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Ja and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back on our trip with the Ultimate Ninja Storm Connections. We are just going to be showcasing some combos, some alternative combos, some that you maybe have already done or some that you probably haven't um, thought of doing yet. Uh, with Kawaki, Kurenai, and I'm probably just going to show a little bit of Hagoromo as well because I really like that character and I like his awakening. So let's get right into the video. So there's a lot of different uh, type of characters that you can use with Kwaki uh, supports. That is that I feel that are really good. Um, Karin is actually really good. Uh, Tamari she did get nerfed, but she is still good. I like to use one like um, like defensive type of support and also kind of like a semi um, a def defensive and uh, offensive support. Kind of like Boro Boro is actually a really good support as well. You have Naruto. I'm talking about like the Shadow 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 Clone Charging Bullet one is really good. Momoshiki, even though he got a slight nerf. Um, but like there's a few supports that I like to go with with uh, Kawaki. A lot of my friends say they don't know how like who like who would be good supports to run with kawaki you know a lot of people um i think that's what makes connections really cool and um different about a lot of the other storms is that there are a lot of different type of team combinations that you can put together and you don't really have to think too hard into it these are a lot of my um support and teams right here i'm gonna like pause on the screen if you guys so there's a lot of teams that i use on rank and stuff that i um was able to rank up with in case you guys are wondering all right so we're gonna start this off by kind of showcasing some of his combos obviously you guys have seen all of his combos already but we're gonna um, just test things out, test the waters out. I really like how he is able to like throw these like little uh, knives out and it still hits them from a distance. Um, oh shoot, <laughs> forgot there was a dash cut. Um, but yeah, we're gonna showcase some of these combos. First, we're gonna do like down combo. Down combo is probably is one of my favorites. I'm not gonna lie, I I just had to restand him there. <laughs> I do kind of like like that the restand is are gone, but dang i'm like so used to doing it so like whenever i like knock them down i just i just yeah i just try to i just try to hit them with the little restand here we are we're showing the little neutral combo neutral combo is it's it's definitely definitely my favorite I'm not gonna lie dash cut is getting out of it's getting out of control this grab is mad cool i'm never gonna lie to you now there was a little bit of a restand right there but that's because how kwaki's grab does work and i like how you can do two after it you can attack i think like a second maybe almost two seconds after it's over you do have to now that's what's really cool i do love about um this kawaki and actually actually but actually ishiki can do the same thing so after their grab they can they have enough time to do their jutsus or ultimate so a lot of characters i don't know too many characters or any other characters besides those two but i also haven't tried to this is my first time actually trying it with kawaki um, trying to hit the ultimate with it, so I'm actually kind of glad I did that while recording. So that was actually really cool. Here you can see I tried to hit them with the team ultimate one, um, but I wasn't really able to do that. Maybe I just did it too slow, but I don't know. Maybe I'm the problem. I love his air combo. His air combo is probably the best air combo I've seen like since I don't know. It's just it's 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 too it's great i think it looks great i think it is great even when you drop the um combo itself um it still connects like the end part still connects yeah you can still like grab you can do jutsu you can do ultimate you can do whatever after that part ends i think look even after like it, it messed up dash cut it messed up like it, it's such it's so good like usually when i do that the air combo online people call their support they think they're safe like because of how big the explosion is and like how long it lasts even if this even if they sub they call their supports they can't really do much because of how crazy that ultimate is and here you here you go here you go again like me, me so now i'm gonna try to showcase the awakening now i love kwaki's awakening i Honestly, I'm not going to sit here and be like one of those people like, oh, it could have been better. Yeah, there's a lot of things that could be better when it comes to stuff like this. But I think um, Kwaki's Awakening is actually really good. Also, I love how his Awakening actions, you can hit them while they're on the ground. I love that. I was a little confused here when I tried to do it. I thought that maybe the the guy was still lingering at, for, you know how like Kwaki's grab has them like 
uh, falling down in like a little staggering effect for like a second to two seconds. So I thought, you know, maybe that's what was happening. But no, Kwaki's waking actions actually pick you back up. And I think that is, I think that's really cool. I think that's something that um, a lot of other characters probably need. I think everybody needs at least one ability that does hit them while they're on the ground. Pick them back up, whatever you want. Not, not the sure you can crop. You know, you know, we don't need that. But I do really like um, what they did with the waking. I like what they did with Kawaki. All in all, I'm like really satisfied. And I'm actually, I'm. This is really making me think about what they might do to Borushiki when he comes out. Like, I'm really hoping. You know, some people are like, oh, he may not even be that good because of how, like, because of how much we like hyping him, hyping him over. I, I guess. But I feel like Borushiki is about to be actually super crazy. Uh, I feel like, like if you guys read the manga, I'm still kind of reading the manga on Boruto, and Boruto is freaking insane. Um, like all the way before he got to where he's at now, like from when he first became Boroshiki, when he started like using karma abilities and all of that, I think it's gonna be super wild. But we're not gonna be talking about Boruto right now. We're talking about Kawaki, and um, here I'm showing, I'm showcasing like different. Um, like different ways you can like convert into the air combo uh the first attack you can't really do it because of how far the distance is between you and your opponent so you want to try to jump in air combo after like the second hat uh second hit or even the third hit it works as well um then you can convert into an air combo and then after that you can pretty much do whatever you want but i do want to kind of show you something a lot of times when the grab is coming out um because of how it's delayed you can actually trick somebody and even after they're summing so i want to try to um call my support or do something and then try to grab right after and you can see how he may sub uh he may sub twice or he may get hit i have it on sub automatically so he's not gonna get hit but if it was like some some if you did this to somebody online they would sub twice or they would get hit um sometimes the game doesn't register a substitution uh very quickly like right after you you substitute so if you do it correctly, you'll most likely hit your opponent if you, like, call your support and they sub and then you do your grab right after. Especially because it spawns, like, literally right on their body. It's super crazy. Alright, we're gonna end this by showcasing uh, Kawaki's ultimate. Obviously, we've all, we all have seen it, like I said. But I do love his ultimate. I'm not gonna lie. I like, I think I just like how they made it look. Obviously... It could have been better, yeah, but I think it just looks really cool, so that's just my opinion. Next, we are going to be showcasing Kurenai. Kurenai Sensei. Kurenai, obviously, one of those characters that should have been in the game a long time ago. We should have Kurenai in Storm 2. But, you know, they just, they just, I don't know, they just really want us to pay for her. So, we saw the down combo. Down combo will always be my favorite. Um, that's just, I think that's just my, the down combo will be my favorite in all, like for all characters. I think that's just how it is. Unless you just have like, some characters have really good, like her neutral combo is really freaking cool. I'm not even going to lie, but her down combo is just better. than just me. Um, her up combo does look really cool as well. I like how she just be spinning around like a bunch of cherry blossoms and stuff like that. Now this grab right here, guys, you see this, you see this grab? Yeah, we don't, we don't play around with this grab right here. We don't do that. This grab is so fast. They thought about nerfing other people's grabs and stuff. Nah, this grab right here, I'm telling you, you're not going to be... It, in, in, in the actual fight, it's going to be hard for you to get out of this grab because of how the hitbox on it, it's fast. I mean, it's freaking... The grab is crazy. It doesn't look that crazy because it's just like a little tree kind of like spinning up and like dropping around your body, whatever, right? But no, the grab is actually crazy. And yes... As you can see, you can combo off, off of it. You might be able to do ultimate off of it. Uh, I mean, as you can, as you see that I tried to do it, but I, I fell. But yeah, you can, um, that jutsu I just did right there, it does hit them while they're on the ground. It does cause crumbling effect as well. So, Kurenai's jutsus are actually really freaking good. And her ultimate just looks mad. It just looks beautiful. It just looks mad. It just looks great. Like, if this was, I'm not gonna lie, if this was played on a PS4, no offense to the PS4 users, but it's just, it's just not the same thing. And this guy, Boro, keeps pissing me off, he keeps getting in my way. But for some reason, I'm not turning it off, so we can just ignore it. I like how she does have crumble effect, and they start rolling down after her, uh, her air combo. I think her air combo is really cool. 
Um, uh, as you can see right there, I tried to do a little stun lock. Um, when you cancel like some part of the air combo, it does actually stun them. Um, you see, you know, clearly, I know exactly what I'm talking about because I've been playing this for a long time. So I, here, I, here, I guard break onto them, and you're gonna dash them. And he's gonna be, huh? Anyway, um, I think we had some um, te technical difficulties right there. That was a bit odd. Here we're going to be showcasing her awakening actions and her awakening. I think Renai Sensei has some of the best awakening actions. Because her ability is really not that it's not that slow, nor is it fast. Like it come, I, feel, I feel like it comes out like a great a great like speed you know what i'm saying does it, it's not too slow it's not too fast i feel like if it was too fast obviously it'll be broken but if it was too slow a little slower than it is now it would be just kind of useless a little trash almost as you can see her jutsu um i think that's her her second jutsu i'm doing i don't know why i did the second jutsu first but her second jutsu does hit you while you're on the ground and her first jutsu does not hit you while you're on the ground it has it's just kind of like a bunch of like cherry blossoms or something kind of just swarm you and knocking you down and like kind of stunning your body or whatever i think it's really cool um i think kurana is all around like a really great character i don't i used her for a little bit online but i'm really having a lot of fun with kwaki right now since he came out maybe it'll be the same for kwaki maybe i'll just start like switching other characters or something i don't know but right now i'm having a lot of fun with him i'm actually using him a lot more than i did kurenai um and i really cannot wait for boroshiki to come out i know i said this is not a video where we talk about boroshiki but i'm not gonna lie i i think i'm just really excited about talking about him and um before this video ends i obviously want to showcase uh Hong Kong was ult um, his awakening actions because I think they are they just look crazy they look planetary and I'm kind of mad because um, I did not I really I did not showcase his second jutsu I think his second jutsu is super duper amazing but I don't think that was the goal the goal here was just to show to show his um his awakening actions and that's exactly what I did but his second jutsu is planetary devastation I think it is. Oh, one of the best second jutsus in the game. I don't use it too much when I use Hagarombo, but I like it. Anyway, with all that being said, I just want to get um, just a little quick a video out. Um, I will start trying to do more of these. You know, just like um, little little gameplays and me uh, doing stuff and talking. Maybe voiceovers and stuff um, without taking other people's content. I'm not going to lie. I'd be taking other people's content. Not, not like that, but like, you know, I'd be lazy. Um, and I don't want to upload because you know the way I gotta upload gameplay and stuff. I gotta upload uh, from my console onto my computer. <laughs> the freak was that? My computer, and then I gotta download it. Then I gotta do a lot. So sometimes I just take gameplay, and then like I just do a little voiceover and stuff that I do. But I'm gonna I'm gonna start trying to get into something a little different. I like you know. Yeah, right, anyway, um, past me is just yapping, he's just, he's just talking, right? This is when we get down to the nitty-gritty. This is when penalty, right? When I see when I see the word, all right, hold on, let me, when I see the word penalty conditions right there, I'm not going to lie, chat, I am, I started jumping out of my chair, right? I, I, it's crazy because we've been struggling. I'm, I'm, I've made videos talking about people rage quitting, com, uh, uh, leaving the game early or just changing their activity. The fact that even PlayStation, I don't know if that's a, if that's them or PlayStation, I don't know who can do that or who has authority over that. But the fact that you can do that and just kind of leave your game back then, um, I'm saying back then, like it didn't just happen, but like leave your game. It's just crazy. But now just the fact like 10,000 is crazy. 48 hours, 6,000, 4,000 guys. I don't, I don't think you understand how hard it is to get some BP. Um, you get a hundred plus when you beat certain people, but it's annoying to get. It'll be annoying to get away from like you know get a thousand back, right? But ten thousand, you know, two thousand, four thousand, six thousand, all of that is kind of crazy. Here, I mean, it says keep disconnecting unintentionally, like whatever, right? Check your, ch check your internet connection. Trust level of all players reset during the implementation. Okay, pretty much, if you rage quit, you know you you get the ban hammer, right? If you rage quit, obviously you get. Um, I did it happened to me a few times, you know, I did I had a I had a disconnection uh, you know, situation. I didn't rage quit guys. I promise I would never do that. But 
I did have a situation and then, you know, my game stopped working and I had to leave. Or even if you leave early, even if you beat them, guys, and you leave early, um, you will get a disconnection frequency. You do have like a five, I think, um, free attempts to do it. I probably shouldn't have said that on a video, but you do have five free attempts to do it. Uh, it will say, okay, you know, like your number is going to start going down. Hey, if you keep doing it, then you're going to start losing points. Here we are showcasing um, minor adjustments. I do, like I said, like I said before, I like and hate the fact that they took the Kunai Reestand, but a lot of people abuse it or didn't really know how to probably use it. So I'm really not too mad about it. Uh, and here you can see a lot of really interesting nerfs and buffs they gave to people. I don't know why a lot of the um, a lot a lot of them, these companies like make changes like this. Like you have Naruto, Naruto. Well, you'll see a lot of these characters really didn't need a buff or a nerf um kakashi did need the nerf kamui was actually kind of crazy guy i hate that character only because there's two players that really made me hate that character so i'm really glad um if you guys want if i'm going too fast you can stop um you can pause it i also going to leave the link to this website in the down in the description if you haven't seen it seen already or just read or if nobody told you what happened then i will leave it down in the description Min minato players i'm not gonna lie you guys are eating gravel because reduced damage of throws. That throw was crazy. I'm so glad they were, they nerfed the, the throw. Like, the throw damage right now is actually wild. Jugo players, he got a crazy buff. Um, reduced his defense. But he, I, I mean, I tested it out, especially with Karin's debuff. Um, Jutsu, yeah, it's almost a whole health bar with one punch. It's actually kind of crazy. Not going to lie. Um, then you have Yukito, I guess, light, whatever. Uh, then Yagura, he has like a slight buff. I do like that. I do. I, I was like one of the only few people using Yagura, so I really do like that. Some um, Kage nerves. Hanzo did get a crazy nerf. It doesn't seem that crazy, but his Ibusu, Ibusu Jutsu is just like, it's like no more. Um, the stun on it, at least. Madara got some changes. Um, freaking. Now, I'm interested. I'm interested. Like, I don't know why they didn't change Sasuke. I guess they intended for PTS Sasuke to have the unblockable iframed framed Chidori. I don't know why. Um, yet, Unblock Button has iframes on it. And it's it's kind of crazy to me. But I guess they intended for that because even after after this change, there are actually some Jutsus in the game that, are, that still have iframes. And I don't know why they touched shino she, people stopped using shino a long time ago but even just now recent patch they they nerfed shino sarda i'm glad they nerfed her sarda kept getting nerfed sarda was like the uh the um the r99 in apex you know it was so good and they just kept nerfing it right like just kept going and throwing nerfs at it it's actually kind of crazy but here you can see like just a lot of just pretty much a lot of them were minor nerfs some of them were big nerfs but in my opinion I'm I'm not tripping too hard about it. Um, I think it was things that personally uh, needed to happen, and I personally like the game. I like I like winning now and receiving my points. I do. I am maxed out on my BP, but I did make an alt account because I just I, I mean I like playing the game. There is no harm in that. Um, but yeah, if you guys had issues with people rage quitting on you, and just uh, leaving early and not them not facing consequences or repercussions, then well, th they will now. So you know, be toxic, uh, play to your heart's content. I'm joking. Don't do that. But just you know, play the game. You guys don't have to worry. They do like they do have moments. Uh, like I think three, five times they can do it freely, but eventually they will um, get some repercussions. They will get some BP taken away from them, and they will have to wait. 78 hours which is just super duper looper cooper crazy guys um but yeah that is it i'm going to start making more videos like this i kind of just want to get out there and i know i say that every time i come back and then it's like it's just never gonna happen until i actually do it so maybe i should just shut up but anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed this video expect a new intro and a new outro very soon uh, my last outro got copyrighted for some odd reason even though i've been using it for quite some time now i guess the song in it or something i don't know but i'm going to be making a new intro new outro it's gonna look uh crazy and yeah actually guys since i'm over here talking about this run I'm, I'm just gonna plug myself i i you know i just have like this little fiverr account um if you guys want to hit me up at any point i'm gonna leave my Fiverr account down in the description below but if you guys want to hit me up 
through here. I'm gonna leave my my Discord and stuff. Hit me up if you guys want to edit. You guys want like a intro or you guys want a, a YouTube banner or a profile picture or something like that. You know, you guys, I do make a lot of things. I used to make stuff for people back in the day, a lot for free. You know, a lot of my homies and stuff, or people just part of the part of the Storm community. Um, I enjoy editing. I think it's fun. Um, if you guys want something, uh, you know, hit me up. We'll discuss prices and stuff like that. But until then. I am out until next time.